Hey everybody, it's Hart from My Heart Wine here uh, with a five minute wine class tonight. Uh, tonight I'm talking about uh, Monastro, also known as Mavedra. If you're in France, uh, Monastro is the Spanish name for this grape. Uh, it's uh, it grown all over the world actually. Um, it has uh, mostly in hot climates. Uh, in Spain, it's grown along the Mediterranean coast uh, of Spain. Uh, so it gets a nice high alcohol content. Uh, it is the primary grape in a lot of GSM blends you'll find on the market. Uh, Grenache Syrah Mavedra in that blend. Uh, Grenache being a little uh, softer and sweeter. Uh, Syrah having a nice tannic blend, uh, at bite to the blend. And uh, Monastrel or Mavedra adding a lot of alcohol and a little spice, uh, or a lot of spice in some cases. Uh, the wine I have tonight is uh, actually 80% Monastrel and 20% Cabernet. Uh, it is the, I'm gonna pronounce it, Gru, G-O-R-U, it's the 18M. Uh, they have a couple different versions of this wine. Uh, if you look for the 18M, if you're looking for the exact one I'm talking about tonight, it has a 91 point sticker from uh, Wine Spectator as well. All right, uh, 18M is 18 months in uh, the barrel. So it has a nice aging. This is a 2015, which is just about right. Uh, perfect time for it to start drinking. Uh, this wine will be good for uh, probably I'd say another 10 years, so uh, stock up, see how it tastes over the years. That's always fun to do. Um, okay. This wine itself, uh, slightly earthy, some soft, sweet cherry notes in there. Slightly hot at a nice 15% alcohol, uh, so very high alcohol uh, with some nice spice notes, a little chocolate, cinnamon, and vanilla on the palate as well. Uh, that would go great with uh, some red meat, steaks, uh, any sort of uh, Spanish meat dish. All right, um, this is the uh, Jamia. Region as well. Let me turn it around so you can read that on the back there. Jamia region of Spain. Uh, again, I already mentioned where that was, but that is what that word means. If you see it on the back of the label, that is the region where it came from. It's a great region. Again, almost all the grapes there are uh, Monastrel, 85% or so, uh, and they make some great wines. So uh, this one should retail somewhere around probably between 25 and 30 dollars a bottle uh you'd be able to find it it has a really cool label though too huh that sort of looks like a face growing out of a tree or a bush or vice versa a bush growing out of a face depending on how you want to look at it all right uh tens are pretty soft on this Again, it's uh, five years old at this point, so that is a great wine. I'm coming up on my five minutes, so I'm going to finish this up. Uh, if you like this quick format style, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this, uh, if you want to make fun of my quarantine haircut, please comment down below. Uh, whatever you want to say, comment down below, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, I hope you heart your wine as much as I do.